Vector lecture number five, the unit vector. We discussed the unit vector in lecture number one, and now we're going to get into its importance uh, in terms of uh, practical vector applications. A vector that is, is exactly one unit long is called a unit vector. In particular, the unit vector 1 comma 0 degrees is called I with a little cap on it and the unit vector 1 comma 90 degrees is called J. Any vector may be written as the sum of multiples of I and J such as let's take A uh, big A here equals little a I plus B J where A and B are real numbers. Here is I on the Cartesian coordinate system. See, it's just this vector that goes in this direction, zero degrees, and is one unit long. This is J on the Cartesian coordinate system. Same thing, it's one unit long, but it goes, it has an angle of 90 degrees. Given those two vectors, then uh, 3i will look like this. There was a, th this is one unit long, one, two, three units long at zero degrees. And f negative 5j, that means not going this direction, but this direction, and multiplied by 5 will look like this. And 3 times i plus negative 5 times j, or 3i minus 5j, will look like the red vector. Here I'm adding the two vectors geometrically by putting this one uh, at the head of this one and then drawing, connecting the only available head and tail. If you superimpose the Cartesian coordinate system over the addition, uh, uh, over the vector addition, you get this. And notice the red vector um, is 3 and negative 5. You can write it as 3 and negative 5. <clears throat> I hope this illustrates the connection between polar and component forms. So anyway, this one is uh, 3i plus negative 5j, and, the, and this is the vector and the head of this vector is at 3 and negative 5. So when you see a vector written in this form as the uh, sum of products of the unit vectors, you can just think of it the component form 3 comma negative 5 on the Cartesian coordinate system.